Hey, baby, don't be down. There's more summer. It's 1968 and a really far out band. Iron Butterfly comes out with this really heavy tune in Agata de Vida. That track was 17 minutes long, man. From Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, in color, it's the dating game. And that's not all. It's also the Iron Butterfly on stage today. Don't you know that I'm loving you? In a god of a feet of paper. Don't you know that I'll always be true? to flutter off for a frantic national tour. We've dropped a net over Iron Butterfly Lee Dorman to play game two this afternoon. It's an accent on you theme for game one, and Jim Lang will have more details in just a moment. You're watching the grooviest show on TV. Don't go anywhere. We'll blow your mind. A Summer of Love special, only on Game Show Network. And now, here's the star of the dating game and your host, Jim Lang. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much, and thank you, Johnny. One of the most popular groups in the world of mod mod music, we're delighted to be playing host to the Iron Butterfly this afternoon, particularly bass player, singer Lee Dorman, who joins our bachelor board for game two. Game one brings us today's bright young mm -hmm. We have it. There's a strong communication between today's young people and their music. It's part of their lives. It fills their lives, really. We wonder, however, if the same communication will exist between the lovely member of the fair sex, who will be with us for game number two, and Lee Dorman, the Iron Butterfly. First, Johnny Jacobs has some information on our special gifts for our special guest today. Johnny? Jim, we have some sunny ideas in mind for our dating gals. From Dune Deck, they'll receive an exciting summer wardrobe of the swingingest beach wear around. Great styles and zowie colors. Dune Deck has them all. We also will be sending them this Presto Deluxe hair dryer and power manicure set for complete home beauty care, and it comes in a double duty overnight case. Our dating couples will tour the town in their chauffeur-driven new GM automobile from National Car Rental with more than 1,400 locations in the United States. The customer is always number one with National. For our dating bachelors, we have this famous Airway attache case with its recessed locks and built-in file folder, plus a brand new color pack to land camera from Polaroid. Color pictures in a minute using quick-loading film packs. The electronic shutter makes perfect pictures automatically. And ready to make another perfect game is Jim Lyon. Thank you, Johnny. Well, as usual, we have three eligible bachelors to play game two, all equal to share and harmonious happening with our delightful second gal. Let's meet them first, and here they are. Good luck, fellas. A Beverly Hills cosmetologist, bachelor number one, hopes to become a success in the business world. He says he just loves life and everything that comes with it, a sentiment you'll enjoy sharing with Michael Willis. Michael, welcome. Well, their million-selling album, In Agata da Vida, has more than established the Iron Butterfly as one of the hottest young groups in American music. Their new album is called Iron Butterfly Ball. Bass player and a singer with the group, we'd like you to welcome from the Iron Butterfly, Lee Dorman. Good luck, Lee. And executive with a major department store, Bachelor Number 3, is also a carefree guy who enjoys having a good time. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. He likes all sorts of water sports. His name is Joe Fishburn. Good luck to you, Joe. And that's our lineup of bachelors for game number two. Now, to prevent our young lady from hearing anything about our three bachelors, we've been keeping her isolated offstage in a soundproof room. Let's bring her on stage right now. A charming and talented young actress, she's just completed a role in the new film, Finks, and is a regular on ABC television's General Hospital. She writes poems, digs modern jazz, and here is Sue Bernard. Hello, Sue. How are you? Sue, you know how we play the game, right? There are three gentlemen over there, and they'll answer as best they can what you ask, and then you have to select one of them as your date, okay? 
Well, we start with a hello then. Bachelor number one, would you please say good afternoon to Sue? Good afternoon, Sue. Thank you. Number two? Hello, Sue. And number three? Good afternoon, Sue. Okay, they sound ready. Sue, if you would like to have a seat, you may begin whenever you're a set. And gentlemen, good luck. Okay. Number one. You're walking down the street one beautiful spring day, and a little elf lands on your shoulder, and he says to you, I love you. Number one, how are you going to handle this? Well, uh, how do I handle an elf on my shoulder? Well, I gotta check out how big he is first. If he's too big, I can't hold him. If he's, I'll give him to you. He's a good thing. <laughs> this is cute. Okay. Number two, the same question. Well, the first thing I would probably do is uh, find out just exactly why I was chosen for him to land on. <laughs> and if he could tell me that, then I would be able to tell him how I could handle the situation. Okay. Number three, if we were going to meet in fantasy land, how would we meet? Oh, I'd just fly up to you and give you a nice big kiss and say, hello, my name's Joe. Let's go <laughs> off a little fly. Okay, number one, the same question. Repeat it, please. If we were going to meet in fantasy land, how would we meet? Uh, separately, I hope. I uh, hope you didn't bring anybody along, because I know I wouldn't be there with anybody. Uh, but well, I don't know. Dis Disneyland's kind of fun. But what? fantasy land. What character, what fantasy character, land? Oh, what character would I be? And what she be? Oh, wow. What would happen? Oh, what would happen? Oh, God. Okay. I don't know if I'd come as myself. <laughs> Are you a character? Oh, well, some people think so. I think so, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Number, th number three. Answer poor little defenseless creatures. And they're always working, and, and they never have any fun. And they're always carrying 40 times their weight. If you had the chance, what would you do to make an ant happy? Well, let's see. I'd get some little bulldozers and shovels and rakes <laughs> and picks. <laughs> yeah, I'd help them out a little. <laughs> Number one, the same question. What would I do to make an ant happy? Yes. Introduce him to my uncle, I guess. <laughs> this would be a good thing. Number two, my favorite quotation is, one who has pleasant memories lives twice. What is your favorite quotation? My favorite quotation is, uh, life through a visual feeling is life itself. Oh, that's lovely. It's very nice. You're number two? Yes. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, number three. Um, I really appreciate an honest man. And let us suppose it's our first date, and we just had the most horrible time. How would you tell me all the things you don't like about me in the nicest way possible? I'd say, well, it was a great evening, but... <laughs> but what? Oh, just not my type of girl. I don't like blondes, and well, what would I don't you like talk? blue what would... eyes. But I suppose I didn't have blue eyes. Well, then I just changed my mind and say I like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to see how talented all of you are, okay? Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> Number one. I'm uh, ready. You're John, okay? All right. Number three, you're Marsha. <laughs> and this is an immortal love scene on a fr the front porch. And number two, just so you won't get bored, give me a little background music. <laughs> uh, okay, action. Action. John speaks. Marsha! Yes, John. Marsha? Where's the John. music? What? More music. John. It's, it's, it's going on. John. It's going on. Uh, oh, Marsha. Oh, John. I'm Why, Marsha? John. Oh, Marsha! <laughs> God damn it, Marsha! John. Oh, Marsha. Oh. Oh. I'm John. Marsha! Number two, we're going to go out. What are we going to do about Donald Duck? <laughs> Take him right along with us, because there's nobody I'd rather... Okay, that's the signal, Sue. Time is up. Beautiful. Now relax. Wait right there. And while Sue is making up her mind which gentleman she'll choose for a date, we'll pause for these messages.
Baby, don't be down. There's more Summer of Love coming up. Don't go away. Aim Show Network Summer of Love special. Far out. Welcome back to the dating game. And Sue, you have a decision to make. I know you've been pondering your problem here for a few moments. Now's the time to tell everybody. Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Sue, which one gets the date? Um, number two. Number two. All right. All right. Number two. Is there any particular reason, Sue, why you chose bachelor number two? I like the quotation he gave me very much. That was a beautiful quote, and I kind of got the message that he hit you with that. Well, now, before we meet him, I would like you to meet the other gentleman. Bachelor number one is a very funny guy. He's a cosmetologist who loves life and everything that goes with it. His name is Michael Willis. Mike, come on and say hello to Sue, if you would. Mike, thank you so much. You're welcome. You did not select bachelor number three, Sue, and he is an executive right now with a department store originally from Providence, Rhode Island, and he loves all sports, especially water sports. His name is Joe Fishburne. Joe, <laughs> say hello to Sue. Joe, thank you so very much. You guys did a good job. And I'll tell you, it was a gas having you with us. And for you, from Blackington of Wells Incorporated, for each of you, we have a heavy masculine sterling silver identification bracelet. It's made with elegance and quality of design from Wells Jewelers just for you. And again, thank you so very much. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. All right, Sue, are you ready? Ready. Trying to look through the wall, eh? Well, I'll tell you, he'll be here in a moment. I'll tell you something about him. He is a member of an exciting new recording group. As a matter of fact, they have a big hit out right now. He is the bass player and singer with the Iron Butterfly, Mr. Lee Dorman. Lee, come on and say hello to you. Good job, Lee. Well, while we point with pride to many Epicurean landmarks here in Los Angeles, Sue, there's a city we know and love with its own particular brand of restaurants which are excitingly different. And that's what we have in mind for you and Lee when we fly you two to San Francisco. In San Francisco, you'll head for Chinatown, where you'll be the guests of Cannes Chinese Restaurant on famed Grand Avenue. One of the country's most acclaimed restaurants, Cannes has been honored for 12 years by Holiday Magazine and received many of its highly prized awards. And to complement your gourmet dinner, you'll also be going on a tour of Chinatown itself, a colorful and fascinating adventure every visitor to San Francisco enjoys. So enjoy your trip to the city by the bay. Thank you, sir. Lee, good luck. Have fun. We'll be back with this afternoon's dating couples after this message and a quick pictorial trip to Las Vegas with three other dating couples. 